Now, North St. Louis County High School football team hasn't won a game in four years. Yeah, Fox News' Stephanie Rothman reports from Riverview Gardens, where the team is changing their strategy, and the one player who is not letting his disability prevent him from making a difference. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's on that side. You sure the coach? It feels exciting. And we practice hard, and we're going to succeed. The Riverview Gardens Rams haven't won a game in four years. But this season, they plan on finally turning the tide. You learn for more from your mistakes than you do your victories. And after 1,400 days, we've learned quite a bit. The Friday night light shining a spotlight on a new addition to the team. I've been thinking about it all night, trying not to overthink it. It's the feeling when you make it. The feeling you get when you make a, when you make a field goal. But Brandon is not your average kicker. I've liked sports since I was you know, younger, you know, playing the game playing a game with my feet with everybody that I was around, you know, everybody being shocked. Born without both of his arms, most wouldn't think sports would be in the cards for him. But with practice and a lot of heart, he's proving them wrong. People help me with certain stuff like my, you know, my shoes and, you know, putting my clothes on sometimes, stuff like that. But when it comes to kicking, I am worthy. With the support of his team and coaches, he's been able to grow his skills. His work ethic is infectious. Going from the sidelines as a backup kicker to the front lines for the first time Friday. I have a sister with a disability. I've, I was raised from birth on that uh, she doesn't get treated any different. The same thing with Brandon. The players are taught that if you believe in yourself, success will follow. And Brandon hopes with a kick, he can do just that. Not only did they win, it was a total wipeout. And in the end, Brandon finally got his field goal. They're hoping to build off of this momentum the rest of the season and get a couple more wins. Reporting in South St. Louis, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.